All right, guys, it's Alan with Rustic Wood Floor Supply. Today we're going to go over how to mop a hardwood floor or a floor in general. Um, the best methods, you're going to want to check out the vacuum video. That's the first step. This is step number two. Um, so basically, you're going to get a mop for your floor. Um, you're going to have some solution. The key to mopping is realistically not using a ton of solution. Um, you're going to want to do a couple sprays here and there. Keep the mop semi-wet, not pushing a pedal around. So I'm going to stand up and show you. You look at the head of this thing, and you're going to want to look up. Just like the vacuum video, you're going to want to signify where the wood is. So you can see this is a short side of the board, and this is the long side of the board. So to keep streaks away, you're not going to want to go across the grain. This is going across the grain where you're going short, short, short side boards. You're going to want to go long boards. So first things first, you want to go around the edges, get those all done. And then once those are clean, you're going to want to come to the field because the edges do have the most dirt. You've already vacuumed. There's a lot of dirt still probably left over from just how dirt migrates to the edges. So you're going to do the edges. Then you're going to come to the field and you're going to find the long board. So you're going to find where the boards are the longest <clears throat> so you can go with them. So you can go with the grain. So we're going to put down two squirts of water. Then you're going to... Go forward, and then when you get to the end, let's say there's a wall right here, you're going to keep it down on the ground and turn. Then you're going to come back the other way. When you get to the other wall, you're going to go around, turn, and keep going that way. That way you keep all the dirt on this front edge. So you're going to want to do probably four or five passes, stop, clean it out, load the sink, start back over again. And that's really the best way to go because if you don't and you go across the grain, it's going to have streaks going across, number one. Number two, if you don't do the turning method, you're going to go across the grain or with the grain. doesn't matter. You're still going to have the same problem. You're going to stop, lift up, and there's going to be all this dirt on the edge right here. So if you go across and turn, the dirt stays on the front. You don't have all that dirt on the edge. And then at the very end, you can go around and you can clean up any excess dirt that might have come off, say, the trailing edge on the, on the mop. So, yeah, so it's... Basically start on the edges, do the whole field, turn it before you get to the edge, and then go around the edge one more time for any trailing dirt that you might have. And that should keep your floor clean throughout the week.